are listening to the Wild Soul Podcast, a podcast for the wild ones. Join me, your host, Queen Namaste, as we embark on a journey to find our true north and our own unique path. From wild, inspired conversations to searching for life's hidden gems and meanings with a little dash of crazy in between. Because really, who doesn't want to dance to the beat of their own drum? What's up, you guys? Welcome to the official second episode of Wild Soul. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you if you have tuned in or have subscribed to this weird podcast. Uh, I'm just super pumped and stoked and just wanted to be the first, maybe probably not the first, but uh, the first to say Happy New Year. I hope 2018 was dope sauce and that 2019 is going to be even more so. Um, I don't know about you guys, 2018, (laughs) going back, if I'm looking back at New Year's 2017, going into 18, I was like, 2018 is going to be my year, woo, I'm going to do so many things, it's going to be awesome. And don't get me wrong, it totally was awesome. I loved 2018. It was just a very different vibe than I thought it was going to be. It was more so a really like grounding, humbling learning year, kind of bringing it all back together. I'm not sure how year 2018 went. Maybe you're just like, oh my God, I'm so happy it's over and we can start a new year. I'm also kind of feeling that too. And I love the beginning of a new year. And right now, it's the very first month of a brand new year, 2019. And I don't know why. I just like it because people create new goals for themselves, New Year's resolutions. And I'm not like a huge fan of New Year's resolutions, but I love goal setting. And every year, I tend to do a vision board. So I like get together with some girlfriends and we get... Um, magazines and we cut out stuff that we want our year to look like and I don't know if you've ever done a vision board but it's cool looking back at them like five six years down the road and you like look at it and you're like wow that actually happened like that's so cool I manifested that shit so that's happened to me a couple times and I just keep making them because they're also fun and they look pretty and you can make them better every year and as I'm recording this right now I'm just looking at my 2018 one and to be honest with you I'm still digging it (laughs) I love what I put and like I said last year was basically a very big growing year for me not so much with other stuff that I wrote on (laughs) or posted on my vision board and I'm feeling this year is like the year to execute I don't know about you, feel it in the air, feel like it's go time, it's going to be a good year. If um, you've made a vision board, tag your vision board, um, Queen Namaste, and I want to see your vision boards because they're dope. And uh, I know you don't want to listen to me the whole podcast (laughs) because uh, really I made this podcast so I could just listen to other cool people. I don't really like to talk too much. I more so love to listen to people. I'm kind of quiet sometimes (laughs) and I just like learning from other people. So that's one of the main reasons I started this podcast was to meet cool people and then just have great conversations with them. So this interview's um really great and I'm excited for it today. I'm excited for you guys to meet these two dudes that I interview. Their names are David Peacock and uh <laughs> should have asked the, how to pronounce this guy's last name before I butcher it on my podcast, Miles de Brincat. Miles de Brincat. Hopefully, <laughs> that's how you say it. Sorry, Miles, if I totally fucked it up. Um, but these guys are super cool. We'll get into how I met them, but a quick little background on them. David Peacock is a personal development coach. He's a network marketer, and he's going to be a brand new author. So same with Miles. Miles is the co-author of this brand new book that they are going to be selling either this month in January. Whoa, what the heck was that? January 
or uh, February. So we're going to talk about their book here. So you'll learn a lot about that. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And also just their life and really cool things. So Miles is not only an author, he's also a rapper and a lyrical genius as well. <laughs> and cool story about Miles is I wasn't actually planning on interviewing Miles for this. He was just <laughs> really he was just there and I was like, "Well, you're the author too, so why don't we just have both of you sit down?" So it was the first time I met him <laughs> while I was interviewing him, but he was a super cool guy and um David was also awesome. We are doing a course together. David is actually coaching me through a course. So if you guys have questions, you can always um email him at peacockconsulting10 at gmail.com and the course is being really transformational so far. I started it back in September, I believe, of 2018 and really since then just been super conscious, like just waking up if you would. This podcast has actually spawned out of that program. Um, my sobriety spawned out of this program and same with veganism too. So just a whole bunch of like really crazy deep changes and yeah, just becoming more conscious and more aware. So um, I have nothing but good things to say about that program. So if you guys want some coaching, David is your guy. Um, so yeah, we'll just get right into it. A little brief bio about the two of them. This interview was super fun. We talk about their book. We talk about mushrooms. Yep. Magical mushrooms. Yep. And we talk about just really living your best life and going after your goals and your dreams and writing a book if you're into that, which I know I am. So really great info here and just super fun and light. So without further ado, let's just get right into it with David and Miles. Welcome, Miles and David. Thank you for having <laughs> us. Thanks. Thanks, for having Thanks for coming. I'm really excited about this conversation that we're about to have. Um, and I guess we'll just get right into it. Why Sounds not? good. I um, hope we can live up to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Miles was kind of a spur of the moment guest, so it's really cool. Yeah. I just met you. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> We're sitting in your room under <laughs> neon blue lighting. <laughs> it's a studio. <laughs> yes. Um, so we can talk about your studio in a bit here. But the first uh, question that I just wanted to say right off the bat, or ask you guys right off the bat, is um, how would you describe yourself or what words come to mind if someone were to be like oh this is david or this is miles some words <laughs> well just is someone else describing me i would say uh, a good a high energy right someone that's always always there for someone or or um you know high energy and, and loving and caring and, and that kind of that kind of stuff for myself i just say um, I, I know I'm spirit living in a physical body with an intellect, right? That's that's what it is, and I'm, we can go into that deeper too if you'd like. But yeah, let, go deeper. Oh, uh, <laughs> this podcast is called Wild Souls, so ooh, yeah, keep going. Like yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, it, no, it's just that's what we are. We are a, we are spiritual beings, right? We're we're energy. Everything everything we are is energy. We're constantly moving, right? And a lot of people don't understand that, and it's too bad it doesn't get taught in schools, but. People are waking up to that, which is which is cool too, right? A lot of people are teaching that, and it's it's cool to come across. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you say people uh, describe you as spiritual? That probably, probably not, because a lot of people <laughs> that that I know, I've known, I've only been in the self personal development industry for just over a year now, right? So a lot of people that I grew up with and know probably think I'm crazy, right? They don't, they don't. <laughs> That's know. what I was gonna say. Yeah, for me. right. So they don't, they don't really understand what it is I'm doing. So yeah. It, yeah. It's the, the, when I was saying those those kind of things with people. I mean, a lot of people I've met over the last year. It's just been that's that's where I, you know you connect with people talking about energy and stuff like that too, right? So it's it's been a cool experience. But again, I, with the people I've we've grown up with, yeah, again they they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't say those kind of things. That's for sure. They I mean they'd say that he was caring and and kind and all kind of stuff. He's always there for us, whatever. But uh, yeah, the, on the spirit on the spiritual side of things, yeah, they would they would have they wouldn't even know how to answer that question. So are you saying like in the last year you've had like this big transformation? Hundred percent. You're a different 100%, person yeah. than a year ago, like last December. Yeah. Who were you last December? Because I didn't know you last December. <laughs> I, I wasn't. I wouldn't say a, a, 
hundred percent change is just of my level of awareness has grown so much. Mm-hmm. Um, and how I, did that begin? If you don't mind me. No, for sure. For sure. Well, I was working full time for an industrial supply company selling power tools and, and safety supply, all that kind of stuff. Right. Sounds fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so much fun. Right. It was, it was a, a nine to five kind of job. Right. Mm-hmm. And, um, I, I even though it was a family friend that, that, uh, own the company and he wanted me to take the company over it wasn't what I wanted to do so I, I was kind of lost in a sense and I figured okay well fireman sounds like a good idea so I went along that path I <laughs> went to Texas got all the training done you went to Texas I did why did yeah. you go to Texas to, for firefighter training but can, don't they have fire training they do but it's, just, it's a, a lot of people from Canada do it that way so it's cheaper and, and it's a, a shorter shorter time frame because you do it online you go to Texas for two weeks rather than doing it all like going to the JI for six months kind of idea, right? So you wow, can still work Texas. in that program, right? So, awesome. so yeah, I was kind of lost and then doing that, going through the whole firefighter thing. I mean, I I got to the interview stage in Vancouver and, and didn't quite, quite quite make it there. So I, you know, I was I was coming along and and going through that, and then I was at a wedding with a with a buddy, and we were talking about like it's how we want to change change what we're doing in life and and going after what it is we want to do, right? And Later that night, he sent me a video on um, the law of attraction, and I had no idea what it was before, right? And so when I l- watched that video, it was actually Conor McGregor that was being interviewed about the law of attraction because that? That he's a, a UFC fighter. <laughs> the guy, okay. The, <laughs> the tricky red. little Irish guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got red hair, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah okay. uh, <laughs> and he was talking because he predicts his fights, right? He uses visual uh, visualization, sorry, to. Uh, to uh, predict his fight, well, not predict, but just to because he knows he's gonna win, right? And then, um, uh, so I watched that, and I just looked up Law of Attraction. I came across Bob Proctor, and everything he said resonated with me. And I emailed into the company PGI Proctor Gallagher Institute, and I, uh, I had next next day I had a phone call from one of their sales sales team, and next thing you know, I'm a consultant, right? So, wow, it's, uh, it was uh, it's cool how it goes from like not knowing anything to boom, one month later you're. Uh, watching Bob Proctor YouTube videos to being a consultant and, and working in the industry. Right? Yeah, that's cool. Super yeah. fast. Really fast. Now, Miles, what about you? Do you have the same story? Have you been like spiritual for a long time? Or... Uh, honestly, maybe eight months ago, I probably didn't even know what spirit was. Oh, wow. I was really big into the motivational industry. Like I would listen to all of those motivational videos and, and audio clips. And those are intense. Like those are ego driven. Mm-hmm. Um, They just want you to work hard and grind and grind and grind. And uh, it wasn't until, I think it wasn't until I read the book, Ego is the Enemy, that I was like, oh my God, like every page was slapping me in the face. Like you're uh, you're an egomaniac, basically. (laughs) I've never heard of that book. Who wrote wrote Uh, it? It's amazing. Ryan Holiday. Ego what did you say? Ego is, Ego the, is the enemy. Ego is the enemy. Dope. God and uh, that's when the spiritual side of things started to come out when I realized that ego can't uh, can't run the ship. No. Um, so then that happened. I started reading into spirit and all a lot of a lot of those things. And then it wasn't more than maybe a month ago we had a very spiritual uh, experience, <laughs> a shamanic journey, uh, to say the least. Oh my god, you can't just say that amazing. cliffhanger. <laughs> you have to talk about that. Um, well, I mean, I've been reading books like the Journeyman.com. To, yeah, the Journeyman.com. <laughs> um, I've been reading books like How to Change Your Mind, and that book is all based around psychedelics. Oh, sick. Yeah. Tell me more. So, <laughs> the more I read into that, I was like, okay, there's some blockages in my life that I need to get rid of, but I don't know what they are. They're on a subconscious level, right? Uh-huh. Um, so, I told Dave about it. I was like, I really want to do this, and we just didn't know where. It's technically illegal, right? To take these drugs and right. heal yourself. No, medicine, not drug, medicine. Medicine, yeah, I mean, but it's they're labeled drugs. Yeah, exactly, uh, in yeah. Society, society, yeah. Unfortunately, and uh, Dave just happened to meet a couple of people that were shamanic journeymen, and... Uh, How did you meet them, just like in Safeway? One of them's actually, <laughs> one of them's actually a consultant with me. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, got yeah. it. So that worked out really well, and when he told me about that, I was like, all right, we just basically manifested that no into our lives, so we got to do 100%. this. And when we did it, yeah, I mean, that that took spirit to a whole nother level. Right? <laughs> because. Uh, so what did you guys do, shrooms? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Psil- psilocybin, right? Okay, that's so, like psilocybin. Yeah, psilocybin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, because uh, I'm sure some people that have listened have obviously done that before too. So 
what is the setting like? Where did you? How much did you do? Uh, you want me all the, all the details? Yeah. Yeah. We can both talk about. It. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, for sure, no, for sure. Open well, mic, open it's, mic. It's just it's very different our experience to what most people will have experienced when they took mushrooms. You're talking about like the party. Trip? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a party okay. trick. Most people do it as a party trick yeah, or just yeah. to get high or to trip, right? We mm. didn't go on a trip. We went on a journey, like inwards. Like I, I I'm not even kidding. Yeah, it was, it's, it was it's the deep. most intense thing ever. I didn't think I was really gonna go anywhere after we had first taken them and we were both sitting on a deck looking out at a beautiful sunset yeah, not was, sunset we're on salt spring on island. the water on salt oh spring my God, island beautiful place to go so though. beautiful and we were both giggling like we we didn't want that we weren't letting the medicine take effect we were because well, we were told it. we were told to leave your eyes open as long as you can until you feel the medicine kicking in and then close your eyes and go deep mm-hmm. but we're, we're both sitting there like <laughs> when is this coming and yeah we get these waves of like Ooh, it was intense I, it's hard to explain it'd be like almost like a it was like, I felt like a, planes and boats yeah. were just converging on, and, and so something was trying to take hold or take wanted control, to go yeah, somewhere, yeah. and we weren't letting it happen, and then the shaman came over, and he just kind of touched us both on the shoulder, he's like, we can see that you're not letting go, like, you oh. have to let go. And, and How do you let, do that? Just like, he, he, he let said, go, go, let, the, let, the, let the chair to like meet you where you are and sink into it type of feel, like you just have to let go of your twitching and your movement. And the moment I let go, I started bawling my eyes. So <laughs> I was on. I ended up on the ground crying and pouring snot out. It was. It was. It was gross. It's, but at the same time, it was amazing what I was experiencing in my own head. Yeah. I was going through past relationships, um, and letting them go. Uh, my ex girlfriend actually exited my body as like a dementor from like Harry Potter, and like she was attached to me. And then she started to separate as I let her go. And then the crying stopped. <laughs> It was incredible, right? And I've been holding on to a lot of other things. So that's when spirit just started to be like, okay, there's so much more to this experience than what meets the eye. Like there just is. And that's when I started believing in things that I can't see. Right? The faith. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because you said a good quote the other day, David, about faith and fear. Like you're being on opposite sides of the track? They're, they're both believing in something that yeah, you, you can't see, see mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. which is very interesting. So it's like what you give power to. Yeah, for sure. It's true. Because it's that fear is just all made up in our mind anyways. And most right? of us lean into fear. Yeah. We believe in that, yeah. right? Well, that's that's how we've been conditioned. Mm-hmm. You know, even when you're younger, uh, once you lock the doors or you know, all this well, kind of stuff. Well, yeah. for 70,000 years. Oh, yeah, of course, with the uh, animals and yeah. Yeah, the fight or flight kind of mode, right? So. Mm-hmm. No, no, it's cool. But even even back to the journey too, like just how you're able to go in within, within yourself, and understanding that the universal mind and oh my god, it was it was unbelievable. <laughs> and, so, and don't get us wrong though, because this was not a good feeling. Like it's it, work. It wasn't. Yeah. It's like, work. You feel like you're held down, and like you have to stare your shit in the face. Yeah, you're doing so. With it's not. Yeah. It's not like something you get addicted to because you don't want to do that very often. Like <laughs> right. it's it's intense and it's hard work. Um, but it's powerful, and I think that should probably be the the new medicine that most people are taking. Yeah, Western medicine is an absolute joke, but we won't get into, <laughs> we won't get into that. <laughs> um, okay, so a suggestion, or like, uh, wondering. Say yeah. someone had some mushrooms at their house, yeah. and they wanted to use them. Would you suggest them to do what you guys did and use them by themselves or do it with a friend? You or... want to be in the right setting, for sure. And what we worked with the journeyman... We we work with them for a month leading up to going on yeah. this journey. Oh, yeah. wow. In terms it's of like preparing us, yeah, yeah. preparing our mind and our body. Yeah. So. So you wouldn't just recommend someone just no, taking no. some. You and probably. I mean, would. people are gonna do it either yeah. way. Yeah. So if they're gonna do it, allow the medicine to do what it's gonna do. Don't just sit there and trip out. Like go in, like meditate. Basically, is what you need to do. You have to have an intention. Yeah. And a lot of the people that are going to do it at home by themselves don't have an intention. They just want to see what's going to happen. Exactly. And that's they just not want good a, They enough. want a cool story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah mm. exactly. So, yeah, I wouldn't suggest doing it on your own at all. Yeah, I would. Yeah. At, at least, like, if you've gone on, like, five journeys with these shaman and you understand how the medicine works, then you can do it yourself, for sure, without a doubt. But until you understand how it works, it's you're not going to get the because we're still uh, we're still working with them. We still felt like once a week we still have webinars with those guys, right? So oh. it's a month pro- a month before the journey, and then they work for us yeah. for a month after it's as well. It's pretty so. intense. Yeah, it's like uh, I've heard in in books, and now I believe it. It's like ten years of psychotherapy in like three days. Oh yeah, like it's just yeah. insane. 
it's incredible. Whoa, what are these guys' names if people want to look them up or something? Uh, I think they're just go by the journeyman. The Rob, journeyman. Rob and Gary, the journeyman. Rob yeah. and Gary, so you could just Google Rob and Gary. I don't know the if journeyman. any group. Probably on Did Facebook, journey- the journeyman. Yeah, the journeyman. Oh, I don't know if it's that okay. journeyman or just journeyman, but yeah. Okay, cool. And then yeah. just go to Salt Spring and get high on shrooms? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. In, in, a in a sense. So yeah. you have to yeah. pay them to get yeah. high? Is it a lot of money that you paid them? Yeah, it's a decent check. It's priceless, change. though. It is it's priceless. 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 Yeah. It honestly is. Well, yeah, because like a personal... I like, mean, they all, they, that includes your... What, what you what you pay for includes your stay there with them. It includes all the food, everything like that. And, and working... It, it They're undercharged, to be honest with you. But uh, I'll, I'll, if they people are interested in that, I'll let them talk to them because yeah. it's not my... Uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got really off topic, but... (laughs) (laughs) We we went deep into soul. That's what it's all about, right? That's what it's all about. First question. Yeah, soul spiritual. Um, Okay, (laughs) that's funny. Um, Going into, like, profession, you were talking about how you totally changed. So, um, David, let's talk about how... What do you do? Yeah, so I'm a consultant with uh, Thinking into Results, which is a program that teaches you how to... Really, it teaches you the conditioning you you have, how to change the conditioning, and go after what it is you want. Um, we have paradigms, right? Paradigms is the conditioning. We it's a habitual way of thinking. It controls the way we earn money, the way we spend our time, all, all these our habits, right? The things we do. So a paradigm and, is a habit. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And changing those habits is what's going to change your results. If, I mean, a lot of things we already know how to do, we're just not doing them, right? And it's, yeah. closing, it's closing that gap, right? Yeah, yeah I know truth. that one. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, in, in, in hindsight, what I, that's, that's, that's what I do, right? Working, working with Bob, and he has, uh, yeah, I would say he's one of my mentors, right? And he had, for, the, for the, the book, Miles and I wrote, Awareness, the Groundwork for Fulfillment, he actually wrote the forward in it, too, so we're pretty excited about that. Woo! I was talking about that book in a, in a bit. Um, yeah. For people that don't know who Bob Proctor is, how I knew Bob Proctor was I saw him on The Secret, like that Netflix yeah. film, like yeah, I don't yeah. know how many years ago. But I don't know why. He was just like old and like... <laughs> <laughs> well, he is old. He's 84 yeah, years old. Yeah, he's so old. But like I had like felt like a grandpa vibe and I'm like, oh, he's really wise. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah, right? Yeah, and then I just was like attracted to him. So it was funny when... Because I was looking online and wanting to do a couple of Bob Proctor's courses. Because I was like, oh, I really want to meet him. That would be super cool. And funny how the law of attraction works. I saw you on like a mutual Facebook group. And I saw your Facebook profile picture with Bob Proctor in it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Yeah, awesome. <laughs> well, I'm like, um, I have to be his friend and talk oh, to him. Like, go. how do you know Bob? So... Yeah, and now I'm doing the course with you right now. So, which is funny because this podcast is kind of spurred out of that program, thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And Miles, you've done the program as well? I have, yeah. Yeah, I found it uh, extremely helpful. I mean, we're talking about professions. When, when I started taking the program, I was a, a golfer, a professional golfer. And that went down the drain really quick. <laughs> uh, I just realized when I, once I started taking in all this information, when I was out on the golf course and I didn't feel right, I, I started to become aware of why I didn't feel right. It's because I was out there for the wrong reasons, you know, the money and the fame and the ego. Mm. Um, so when I threw that all aside, then I went pretty deep into the TIR at that time and uh, tried to figure out what I actually wanted. And we'd actually already finished writing our book, I yeah, think. Yeah. And uh, from there, mm-hmm. I just realized I just needed to keep writing. Um, so that turned into uh, writing like 30 plus songs and starting to rap and uh, not like most people think rap is. I, I try to go motivational and self help, even though the song we, we played before we <laughs> before we started this podcast was not motivational. No, but at the end of the day, your message is is good. Right? The message it's, is to just try to empower people yeah. and and honestly awaken them to spirituality, whatever that means to them, because that's how you find peace and freedom in your life is by understanding spirituality in your own way. It doesn't have to be God. It doesn't have to be Source or the Divine or whatever. It's however you feel spirituality come through you it's just important that we all have that individual experience with spirituality because without it like i said you can't find peace you can't find freedom and i know that for a fact because i was an egomaniac for 23 years of my life and i was not at peace and i was not feeling free 
and uh, so yeah, that that's the shift for me, anyway. So you're actually you were actually a golfer, and we're making money yeah. with golf. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Well, I hate golf. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Well, so thanks for honesty. <laughs> yeah. I do, and and you know what's funny is I kind of do too, um, but. I was going to school. My parents told me I needed to go to school and I didn't want to go to school. My only other option that I knew because I played it growing up was golf. And so I was like, I love golf. I love golf because I, I, I hated school. And right. so I tried to tell myself I loved it more than I didn't, but I didn't actually love it. And that's what's crazy about this awareness stuff is you figure out what you actually want because my parents even came to me and they went, how could you quit something that you told everybody you loved for like, you know, the past five years? How do you just quit like that? I was like, it's just becoming aware of, of what I actually want. Yeah. It's hard to yeah. then actually act on it, but sometimes you just got to take the leap of faith, right? Wow. I just kind of, I'm feeling that now through the course, which is funny. I'm kind of dealing with that. Like, yeah. is that you've what been I, through a similar situation. Oh, yeah, and I'm like, is that what I really want? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, we have to write our goal down, and I'm like, it was one thing, and <laughs> 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 really, yeah. I don't think it's it, because... Yeah. I would be doing it otherwise, I yeah. think. I don't know. I totally understand. And look what you're doing right now. Yeah. Just talking to you. Fine <laughs> <folks. laughs> no, it's cool. Connecting and like having a conversation about stuff that people don't really like to talk about. Yeah. Sweet. Um, okay, so I have, how did you get involved with Bob Proctor? But you kind of already mentioned that. Um, yeah, talk. I just want to know. I just want to be a creep and like know everything about him. What do you want to know? <laughs> I mean, I don't know all that much. What is I know where he lives. <laughs> <laughs> he's not, yeah, he's not very, on that side of things, like, his, uh, his biggest piece of advice is just, is just study every day because it's understanding, right? So it's studying every day. Because out of all the personal development teachers out there, he's, I, I personally think he's the best. I've listened to a lot of guys, uh, followed a lot of guys, but, uh, and females too because he's so tapped in spiritually mm. he understands spirit and business and that's he has the balance between those which is so important because there's some people that are way spiritual and they don't utilize that to to make wealth for themselves or prosperity for themselves or and others or others you're right yeah. exactly yeah. they're almost i don't want to say it's a waste because they're internally happy but I'm gonna get a little off topic here, but <laughs> on the on the on the other side of the, okay. on the coin, it's it's people that are just like you're saying, ego, 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 hustle, 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 legacy kind of idea, right? Yeah, so. that's what's really I don't like right now mm -hmm. because when I sometimes I'll listen, I'll listen to Bob Proctor stuff in the morning and just like listen, and then if I like Google motivational stuff on YouTube, it's, it's like totally different. Get up at four in the morning. Harder. <laughs> like, is that is that ET like, you're referring to right now? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> but so it's funny members. that Eric so Thomas is his mentor is Bob. Yeah, Proctor, I don't. Right? Know, I don't even know who ET is. Who is that? Eric Thomas. Oh, uh, I just follow. You probably like, heard his voice. But. Um, like be inspirational or something on it's a channel on YouTube. Be inspired, I think it's called. Yeah. But they just do videos like that, which is like some are good, some but some are just they're too just much. Very, it's, it's, they're it's, very intense yeah, and like, ego driven. It you is. Can feel it is it. good though to get people to to wake up a little bit. You know, it's almost like a, a groundwork stage of it. I mean, there's always a better way of doing something so that. You know, that grind, working 18 hours a day. I mean, Gary Vee talks about sacrificing your 20s and 30s. Is that the right way? No. I don't there's, think There's so. always a better way to do something. So yeah. how, do you, how do you find that out? Go inside and ask. Because I mm -hmm. feel like I was doing that for the past couple of years, just like grinding and then not like making time for relationships that mattered exactly, in my life yeah. and I'm like what the f Been am I there. doing yeah, you know so like what is the point if you have no one there at the top with you that's that's and that's what you hear all the time is lonely at the top and yeah. they put themselves there you know it's their own fault that they're lonely at the top they took that mindset into what they were doing and that that I mean that's not success no right if you're lonely at the top that's just not success you might have some accolades and accomplishments but how do you feel when you close your eyes at the end of the day, right? Yeah, exactly. And if you're not connected with that external goal that you were going after, whatever it is, being at the top, mm -hmm. you still won't you won't have happiness, no. right? It, it comes from within. So some of the poorest people in the world are happy. But again, it's finding that balance, right? Mm -hmm. It is all about balance, yeah. for sure. For sure. Yeah, but a lot of people will argue like, oh, you're not going to have balance in your life when you're wanting to be like successful or, you know. Because that's, that that's the old conditioning. That's the only way they know how to do it. Yeah. And that's also. I don't. I'm not saying I have the answer. I'm just saying there is a better way to do it. 
Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, that also depends on their definition of success too. So yeah. You that's, define yeah, it for your, point. you that's define really it for yourself, and you can be successful every single day. So if if you're looking for success from an outside opinion of what success is, you're never going to be successful. Yeah. You just aren't. Like it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So you have to define that for yourself, and what's, that's something in our book that what's we tell Earl, them to do. Earl Nightingale's uh, quote. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Exactly. <laughs> I should have memorized as that. Long as, That's in the book. <laughs> as long as you're working towards whatever it is you find is successful to you, yeah. then you are successful, right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. People think success is like this point in their life. Like, mm -hmm. I am successful here. But I've talked to Dave about it a lot. It's not about what do I want, because that want is your success. It's, but what do I want to do? And so if you can dive into what do you want to do every single day, you'll just be successful if you're doing what you want to do every day. It doesn't have to be this little point on a map yeah. in your future three years down the road. That's when I'm successful because I have this much money in the bank account. Like, That's just... what I used to think. Oh, same here. <laughs> yeah, I think we all we all have thought yeah, that, right? You do. You, I mean, at the end of the day, money does help, but uh, sure. it allows For you to sure. do everything you want to do. But, uh, you, still, you still do have to uh, go, go in and find it inside, the happiness inside. Mm -hmm. What I thought what really stuck out with me, like listening to Bob Proctor, um, was when he was talking about vibration. Mm. Like, and I never heard that before. So I don't know if you can explain it better than I can, because I'll probably butcher it. But no. you can yeah. you can go. You can say For sure. it. What would you oh, well, just what like about how the vibration? Like, like? Well, law of attraction is, is, he's like, people think they understand law of attraction, but it's really like law of vibration. Mm -hmm. It is the law of vibration. And it's mm -hmm. like, if we mm -hmm. all have a frequency, mm -hmm. like right now, like yeah. every living thing Absolutely. is vibrating. It's always moving. Nothing is still. Even the things that are inanimate are, are vibrating. Very right. fast. Like this desk is vibrating very fast. Yeah. To be able to be held together, right? Well, yeah, yeah. So the law of attraction is actually yeah. is the secondary law to the law of vibration, right? Like yeah. with the secret, you said you watched it and, and it affected millions of people's lives, positive, positively and negatively, because a lot of people just thought, oh, if I, all I have to do is think it and it'll happen. Well, no, you do have to take action. And taking action, what you're doing, you're, you're, you're increasing your level of vibration, what frequency you're on. And when you're, you like, Say the goal is up here on a higher frequency, the goal you're going after. When you get yourself on that frequency, you're you're going towards the goal, and the goal the goal is coming towards you, right? So I know that sounds sounds a little bit hooey wooey, but that's how it that's how the law of attraction works. It's well, if you, want, actually, if you want to go even more woo woo, you, you gotta it. explain what the the law of vibration really entails in in reality in practical life. It's just the fact that all we are is particles made up, vibrating really fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, like, we're not touching physically right now, but we kind of are. The space in between us is energy vibrating, and it is connecting us. It's connecting us. So, when it comes to the law of vibration, it is everything. Mm -hmm. Everything is vibrating around us at all times. So, you can change your vibration through your thoughts. That's what Bob always mm -hmm. says. We live in an ocean of motion. Yeah. I mean, what did I say? We get to control the current. Yeah, I like that. That was good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> so when you so say someone's vibrating at a low vibration, what would that mean? They're just consciously aware. Like if you just say, "I feel bad," what they're saying is that they're consciously aware that they're in a low vibration. So if you're thinking negative thoughts, you're going to put yourself in a negative vibration. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. If you're in a, on positive thoughts, you're going to put yourself in a, on a positive vibration. So positive vibrations are higher. Yes. And bad is lower. Yeah. Really? Okay. Because cool. you that's what the people people don't even realize that the, the, the thoughts they think is exactly the results they have in life. Right? If they're not happy with their results, just go back to your thoughts. It's true. It's true. We create it's, it's, it's we energy. our lives through the stories we tell energy. ourselves, which are just the thoughts that yeah. we have, right? The energy's flowing to and through us and we make it what it is. If we if we make it negative, then it's going to put your body in a negative vibration, and you're going to attract negative things to you. If you if you have positive thoughts, you're going to have yourself in a your body will be in a positive vibration. And you'll attract positive things to you. Yeah. I guess where it gets tough though is the separation between the conscious level and the subconscious level, mm -hmm. because you can have those positive thoughts on the conscious level all day long. That's, that's a great but point. That's a great subconsciously, point. you could have really bad negative self talk going on throughout the day when you're not really 
paying attention. It's being aware. Yeah, you're right. It's catching so that. It is catching that. Yeah. And just having a having practices, daily practices to put yourself in the space of that positivity because that will start to shut down the negative self-talk. If you continue, like maybe a half an hour a day listening to Bob Proctor, you do that, you're going to start to raise your self-talk even when you're in that subconscious state, right? When you're just going through your daily activities. Yeah. Because think about it, how many thoughts do we have a day? I mean, thousands. Hundreds, th- hundreds of thousands, yeah, I think. Well, uh, pretty close, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, what would, like, how would someone know that they have bad subconscious thought? Look at the results. <laughs> it's kind of true, oh, okay. unfortunately. And, so, and people but don't at like the same that, time, it's, it's yeah, uh, not everyone, like we said with success, not everyone's results are going to be, like, determine how, what it is. But if you don't like your results, then you know your, your thoughts are what uh, is, is affecting that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Which is hard, which is hard for people to accept. It is. Because that means they have to take responsibility, right? And if you would have said this to, to uh, even us, I don't know, yourself too, is this a year ago? I would have like... It's my parents' fault. How <laughs> <laughs> is this stuff? You know I mean? yeah. It's my teacher's fault. It's everyone else's fault but mine. And you have to take the mindset of it is all my fault and I have to control. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. Mm, that's good. Wow. Deep. Yeah, that was good. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, let's. Well, since we're talking about this stuff, let's just talk about your guys' book. Talk yeah, about it for sure. I'm super excited for well, you guys. You, you, exp- he explains the uh, how we went into awareness and the difference between I'm simple. Sorry, guys, did you just hear that? Is <laughs> that <laughs> 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 Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> we'll, Mike's we'll, call it it that. <laughs> we'll call it that. We'll call it that. Sorry, Miles. You can. Go. So I've just started a vegan diet last <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> Real gassy <laughs> over here. All good, all good. Um, all right. Um, about the book. <laughs> yeah, what's the um, title? Title's Awareness, the Groundwork for Fulfillment. Ooh. So when we went into this book, we really wanted to write it for people that were just getting started in self-development or self-help. Like it would be their groundwork. It would be their foundation. Um, because we think awareness is the groundwork to fulfillment. If you're not aware, you can't have fulfillment, right? You need to understand what's going on inside of you and outside to be able to find that peace and that fulfillment. So basically, we broke down the book into two, two well, more than two sections, but the big parts are there's two types of awareness, self-awareness and simple awareness. Most people just say awareness, and they don't even know what they're talking about, <laughs> which, which is unfortunate, right? And most of the time, they are just referring to self-awareness. What's going on inside my head? What are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? That type of thing. But what's more, way more powerful than that is simple awareness. Simple? Simple awareness. Simple. S I M P L. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Simple. I was, that was brought to my attention by an author. Um, I just can't um, remember his name right now. Alan Watts. Alan Watts, yeah. Um, simple awareness is just being able to basically see. Not see, but feel the law of vibration in a sense to tie it back to what we were talking to. It's to be able to understand that everything is energy and that you can connect into it at any time. So like, you know, when I look outside and I can feel connected to the tree, I can feel connected to what's going on. It opens up my awareness to everything going on around me. You know, you see people walking around on the street and then they bump into somebody or they're not looking. Like if you're tapped in and you're very like in that simple awareness state, you're very aware of what's going on around you, your surroundings and everything. It's not just what's going on inside of you. So that simple awareness takes it to the outside. And you just, I, I don't know, can you explain it anymore? No, I, think you, I, think you, I think you explained it really well. I mean, it's, you're right. It's, it's, it's been a long time since we wrote that book. <laughs> Jeez. When did you guys start writing this book? In February. February. February 2018, yeah. Almost a year ago. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's been in publishing for four or five months yeah yeah, yeah well, so, six okay, now. so how you guys get this idea you're friends and you're like let's just write a book and then so what <laughs> like how what are the steps if someone wanted to write a book like you just literally write on do you type it do you write it it's, it's actually like, really easy to write a book it really? it's the <laughs> editing that's a pain the editing book. sucks yeah um writing a book like i was just talking to a girl today about writing a book and i told her i went if you take an hour of your day which we all have an hour and you just write you're going to get about a thousand words a book is 50,000 words, like an average book is 50. So what, it's going to take you 50 days to write a book? People think it's going to take forever, but it just it doesn't if you are willing to commit that time to writing. So it's actually pretty easy. Yeah, well, that's why we just made a decision. Like, like, how do we get this to more people? And we just like, let's write a book. Okay, done, let's do it. 
No, and we, and we both committed, right, to an yeah. hour a day of writing. Exactly. Um, we, we just did it through a Google Doc, actually, yeah. so I could see his writing, he could see my writing, because uh, doing a book as co-authors, we're kind of like, we got to see what each other, where we're going. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that made it really easy. And, and then what, you just send it off to a publisher? Yeah. And do you, you have to pay them and <laughs> yeah. Yeah. a lot of money? It's self-publishing. What was it, four grand or something like that? Yeah. yeah. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Okay, and then so they edit it, and then are they in charge of, like... Um, we we do, we do all the, yeah. they, they're in charge of distribution. Yeah. We do all the marketing. Yeah, everyone. Oh, like you that. do all the marketing. They yeah. don't do any marketing. They have a marketing team that'll help us, but yeah. it's it's basically us. And then they, they sell it on Amazon. Do Every, you get to go everywhere. to the bookstores? Amazon. It chapters. won't. It will not be on shelves in physical stores. It'll be on every single website possible, like UK, like basically worldwide, on every uh, site. It's, it's in store on demand, right? Yeah. If yeah. you want to go into Chapters, you can order it in Chapters and they'll bring it in. For Why sure. won't it be on the shelf? We're not famous authors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they only Yet. put... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, they only put famous people up on that shelves? That or I think you just have to pay them quite a bit of money. Interesting. Um, so it's basically just print on demand right now. So somebody wants it, they order it, it gets printed and sent to them. Back oh. in the old days when there wasn't self-publishing, it was all just printed. So the author would just have to gamble and be like, okay, 10,000 copies books, or yeah. 50,000 copies, and then you just oh. never know. So it's just a... Box full of books in your garage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I guess this is more like friendly for the environment. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, that's cool. Are you guys excited? Do you know when it's 100%, 100%. coming out? 100%. It's going to end, end of uh, January. At the latest. At the latest. Yeah. We don't have an exact launch date, but you know, we'll, uh, we'll have a, uh, a better understanding closer to uh, the end of December. So. And you were talking about Bob Proctor wrote the forward, which yeah. is pretty badass. Yeah, very cool. So That's cool. our marketing. Yeah, no <laughs> That's doubt. That's part of the marketing yeah. for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, did he read the book as well? Yeah. In order to write the forward, you have to write. He says that all the time. In order to write the forward, you have to read the book. So right, I didn't and, know if people lied. <laughs> well, the, it's cool. We 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 know he read it because of he ta he dove into that simple and self awareness and consciousness, right? Yeah. So obviously he read the book. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! You guys yeah. are gonna be like published authors. <laughs> pretty quick Whoa, here. Pretty quick. That's yeah. so awesome. 2019 will be a big year. 2019, I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to 2019. 2018 was very, like, I felt, like, very inward and, like, self-discovery. I don't yeah, know if you guys thought that. Oh, it's, it's yeah, really very good, too. Much yeah. so. It's how you start, right? What? It's how you start is transforming from the inside and then understanding all this material and then yeah. taking it out to the world. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, talking about that, I like to know people's morning routines because I'm weird. And <laughs> I've always... Uh, not always, but I've usually just woken up and like got up and went out the door. Yeah. And listening to more people's podcasts or successful people, they always have like a morning routine. And I've been trying to hammer one down for a little bit. And then sometimes I fall off, but interested to see or hear what you guys you want to start with that one? No, you go first. Do in the morning. Like, okay. Um, <laughs> no, my morning routine. Um, usually I get up at, at 5 a.m. Uh, it'll it'll vary maybe till sometimes it'll be six, but um, usually it's up at five. I'll do my gratitude first thing I wake up. I won't I won't look at my phone, check emails, anything like that. First thing is gratitude. So that's running out ten things I'm grateful for, and then I'm, I just sit quiet for five minutes and just ask spirit for guidance of action steps I need to take in that day, and then also give love to three people that are bothering me now. Whoa. I've, there's no one that really bothers me anymore, but if I, no, if I come across yeah. that again, then yeah, I will send that person love. So what I do is just, I just send, I just send out love, right? Just send out love to, if someone pops in my mind, I'll just send them love, right? So when you're, sorry to interrupt this one, no, for touch sure. on that when you're like, there's no one that really bothers me anymore. Mm -hmm. So like, what do you mean by that? Because like, well, there was, the, especially in the job I used to work at, <laughs> people used to drive me nuts. Just their, their <laughs> attitude and... And how they how they carried through their day and just no ambition in life. It was like they just wanted to sit at a desk and be grumpy and miserable and bitch all day. And it was, it got on my skin, right? So in the, I just I'd send them love every every day, and and cause I'd, I'd still be around them for eight hours and or not eight hours, but you know the work day, right? Right? You're around those people, and it it paid off huge dividends. You're not doing it for them. You're doing it for yourself. Yeah. Right. True. Instead of getting irritated when they say something, it's just like, 
it, it doesn't bother you anymore. It's it's an amazing exercise. Do you think that the, the because you did the course that it doesn't bother you anymore? Like, could you still be uh, around people like that and um, that yeah, wouldn't piss you off? Well, yeah, you just you just have to learn how to how to uh, disconnect from when people are talking like that. Um, well, it comes down to judgment, right? If you don't judge them, then you can't get pissed off. Oh, exactly, yeah. But, I mean, too, I mean, you don't want to be around people being no, negative all the time, no, too, no, right? Sure. So it is it's disconnecting from that and and um, just you're being consciously aware that you're not taking any of that in, mm-hmm. right? Because if you just try and shut it off and let the subconscious mind take it all in, then it's not going to do you any good. You'll Your body will get in that negative vibration. You'll feel it. Like when people are getting anxious and stuff, you start to feel it. It's like, well, what's going on, right? That is true. Or yeah. it's like when you can just tell someone's in a pissed off mood or something, or they got bad energy and they walk into a room, like it you just can instantly shifts tell everything, right? Yeah. We're, we're genius at uh, picking no. up body language. Like, you don't need to take a course to, to figure that out. No. Like, we're born with that. Like, you walk oh, into our, a room. It's our intuition. You know. yeah, yeah, it is our intuition. Sure. It is. And some people are better at it, but we it's all It's just more it. developed. Everyone, everyone has intuition. It's just people are more yeah. developed, right? Very true. Yeah. Okay. So what else? What Go else? back to the morning routine. Sorry. So, oh, that's good. That's good. So yeah, it's the gratitude, and then you haven't even left your bed yet. Right? Yeah, no. Yeah, well, I've I've sat up and wrote. He's okay. sent love to yeah. three yeah, people yeah. that bother him, but no one bothers him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sure people will come across at a time and I'll send him love. It's all good. But um, no, then I uh, yeah, so I do that, and then I'll study for an hour, uh, whatever it is I, I feel like studying. Right now, I'm going through thinking the results again, um, and then I will exercise usually, and then and then eat. So whatever the exercise is in that day, going for a run or going to the gym, whatever it is on that day, I'll do that and then I'll eat and then that's basically my morning routine every morning. Okay, good, because I have that too. I was like, okay, I need four things. So I was like, write gratitude and meditate, move the body, and then like study somewhat yeah, something, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm on the right track at least. Yeah. But sometimes. Of course you're on the right work. track. You're going through thinking the results. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, doubt. I know, no I doubt. know. Um, same with you, Miles. It's different? very, it's pretty similar. I mean, I get up and I first thing I like to do is take this guy Jax, who's in the room with us, my he's dog. So cute. Little I like to take Spaniel. him out. Oh, oh, he's the best. So I take him out for a walk every morning. I come home Except and I meditate. Today. Except today, <laughs> I know, I know. We went for a run. It was a different kind of day today. Oh, we were you took to do him a... with you for the run. No, I didn't. Oh, I went, you, I oh, him. you just said we went for a run. Me and Dave, oh. me and Dave went for a run. Oh, I was like, why wouldn't he like a run? Is he, he does like a run. Okay. He loves it. <laughs> so that's that's definitely how I start because I need to get out and do. And honestly, it's doing something for someone, oh. not and not myself, yeah. someone yeah. else. Um, oh. So that gets me out of the house and that gets me started. Then I like to meditate. Then I like to read and work out. But the thing is, like, for anybody who's listening, it's. You have to try it for yourself. Yeah. You have to figure out Jumble what's going to work around. best. Yeah. I've spent like three years changing my morning routine from right. when I was a golfer to a rapper to whatever. <laughs> it's, it's always changing, right? And it's just at the end of like, I don't know, I think a morning routine should be anywhere from an hour to two hours, depending on how much time you have and what you what you do during your days. Mm-hmm. But you have to figure it out for yourself and you'll only know when you're done that hour or you're done that two hours and you're like, wow, I feel at peace or I feel mm-hmm. happy with what I just did. If you're going through it like the grind mode, like go and lift iron, like pump a bunch of iron and do whatever, and you're like, oh, this made me put me in a bad mood. Like that's not a good morning routine, right? So whatever, yeah, just turn your whole day off, right? Yeah. So it right. just has to. Yeah. If if you can feel at peace with how you started your day, you're gonna win the rest of it, right? Well, what time do you wake up at five too? No, I wake up at seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Seems more realistic. Yeah, I try to honestly, and it's. It's a little bit strange, but I do try to wake up with and go to sleep with the sun. Like, I try to change my schedule all the time with that, because that's how our bodies are wired, right? For sure, except it gets dark at 5. Yeah, I know, that's, that's, that's that. not fun. <laughs> no, that's not I know, fun when it gets dark, like, I've been thinking, like, I don't want to do anything in this. I'm go to bed now. <laughs> I know, like, it's I dark know. out. What do you And we do? used to. Yeah. We used to go to bed for, like, 11 hours and just sleep. Oh, but, my God, uh, that'd be wonderful. Miles, seven o'clock you get up at five you guys don't have day jobs i guess miles we don't no? well i don't you guys are just self-employed rappers and self-employed <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. that's so awesome so do you think this book will generate a lot of revenue like how much do you guys get per book like how does that work it, probably like 30 no no they take like 70 percent. yeah yeah you so, get 70 percent. yeah 
probably make like a... ten bucks a book or something like that. We're, we're going to sell it for fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. So uh, seventy percent. Yeah. So what is that? Some about ten bucks. About ten bucks a book. Yeah. Well, you can split yeah. it between the two, so yeah. five bucks. At the end of the day, is this not our goal? Is the it's the not. financial side of it? We've talked about it before. As long as this book helps change one person's life, then the book is in his job. Now we want it to help a hell of a lot more than one person. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we talked about it. That's as long as it changes one or wakes one person up, then the book is in his job. Yeah. Right. Because it woke us up. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> even writing it, we learned a lot too, right? Oh, I mean, so you're a little much. bit. You're doing studying every day too to understand. Yeah. And going in deeper, so yeah, it was. Yeah, it when was, it comes it to the revenue, experience. I've. I mean, you you've thought about revenue a bit more than I have. Yeah, I, I, I want the book care. to do really well, right? Yeah. And yeah. it's um on the on the actual us earning money from it, it doesn't really. You know, that's not the that's not really the biggest care. part. No. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't care. No. Because it's so selfless. Well, we obviously like, we're gonna be because we know if it'll it provides value come. to people, it will get compensated for for what yeah. it does, right? So. And if you put things out there with your heart and your soul and not your ego, you're gonna get compensated, yeah. like you said. Maybe it's not in money. Maybe it's in relationships. Maybe it's in a free meal. Maybe it's in, <laughs> maybe it's in travel. Like whatever, right? Yeah. You're, you're gonna get compensated if you pour your heart and your soul into something and you create something that that's everlasting, right? Yeah, a book will go on for generations for sure. Unless there's another big book burning. <laughs> <laughs> there was a book burning? I know nothing. There's been tons of book burnings in the past. Tons. But like way back in oh, the yeah. past. Yeah. Now there, we've got well, there's so many copies now, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we have the internet. Yeah, yeah. I do, exactly. And we have conspiracy theorist pages on YouTube oh, that yeah. I get sucked into. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty good, though. It's like, whoa, oh, Is the earth flat? Uh, okay, not that one, but <laughs> some other ones. Oh, awesome. Well, it was so cool to talk to you guys. Thank you for being a guest on my podcast. This was Thank you for having us. It was a lot super of fun. Dope. Um, super fun. Good before, energy. Before, yeah, good vibes. Yeah. Before we go, do you guys want to like shameless plug yourself? Like, <laughs> where people can find you and stalk you? Like, uh, the web, are the you website, guys single? Website oh, yeah. You guys are single? single. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, ladies, ladies, slide into their DMs. <laughs> <laughs> David, <Sorry>. <laughs> well, the thing is, the, the, the dating pool is a lot smaller when you wake up because it's hard to talk to somebody that's very shallow. You want to go deep, right? Once you're like, I can't have a conversation with people now that doesn't go deep. I just, I turn off or like, you know, I just nod my head. So mm-hmm. the dating pool is smaller oh. as well, right? So you're not on the Tinder. I'm not anymore, actually. Oh, you're not anymore. <laughs> no, nice. No. Good job. <laughs> just so deleted just, it recently. Just dating, like, normal people? How how normal people would I... Not normal people. The normal way back in the day, old school. Well, it's, going if if putting I, yourself I, in those situations where you're going to find someone that... Yeah. I mean, yeah. Put out to the universe what it is you want. But, I mean, you wouldn't... If someone slid into your DMs, you wouldn't be opposed to it. <laughs> <laughs> Never opposed the okay. DM sliding. Never opposed the DM I, As a matter of fact, I was doing that this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. David, tell them your whatever you, uh, you guys have Instagram is, Yeah, Instagram is Peacock Consulting. Uh, Peacock? Web, Peacock Consulting. Like a bird? Yeah, yeah. my last name, David Peacock. Peacock yeah. Okay, Peacock um, Consulting. Peacock Consulting. Um, the, our website for the book is www groundwork for fulfillment.com um what, what, what's your what's your uh, uh you can follow me on instagram at miles to i don't use anything to else Face, facebook too yeah. yeah don't even i wouldn't even know how to spell that no and, and, and if, if they really want to follow me then they'll have to figure that out <laughs> <laughs> um, Ooh, mystery <laughs> right i kind of like to do that um but yeah i don't i don't use anything else i think people are using too many platforms if you got snapchat facebook instagram twitter it's time consuming. Oh like, yeah. You're not creating anything. You're just you're just viewing. You're just watching things. Yeah, so I think sure. it's important to just have maybe one of those and uh, and roll a with few that. Of them, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, because we, we, we're working on some some ideas for for YouTube. So yep. Keep your keep your eyes open. Yeah, for that. you guys got a green screen in your house. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Awesome guys, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Shannon. Namaste. You're the best. Namaste. Guys. <laughs> How do we stop? Thanks for listening to today's episode. If you have any questions or want to reach me, feel free to email at shannonpetersfitness at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram, queen.namaste, and my website, www.queennamaste.com.